Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And a um, viewer question. A uh, viewer has a new, well, it was given a PC. It comes from a friend. Uh, his friend is from France, so his Windows operating system is in French. He doesn't speak French. He speaks only English. So the question was, is there a way to change the language of the Windows operating system without having to completely reinstall it? And if you reinstall, does it activate even if it's a different language? Uh, language has no effect on activation. That's the first thing you need to know. So if it's in French and you activate with the same PC and the same version, so if it's a home version, you have to choose home. If it's a pro version, you have to choose pro. It will activate whatever language you have chosen. It's a license key that is uh, digitally linked to the PC, not to a language. Now, is there a way to not reinstall and change the language? Yes, there is. As long as you're not stuck with what's called Windows 11 N, which is the version that is only one language. This version of Windows does not permit any other languages. But most of us have a standard Windows, so you can actually change it. But there are some caveats. There are some things that you're going to need to understand when you do it. The first thing you'll need to do is, of course, add the language pack for it. So you'll have to go into your settings. You'll have to go into the left side and time a language. And then you'll have language and region. Here, you will need to add language packs. So you have to click add a language. And then you have to choose the language pack that you want. So this depending on what you want to do, is going to be English. Of course, in your case, you're going to be English. Choose English from your area, so there's different English versions available. Uh, so make sure that you choose the uh, English that goes with what you want. But in case of any other language, of course, you will want to click the language, and then you click the Next button. This will add all the packs. So you will actually choose the language pack, text-to-speech. You'll choose everything, and there's a check mark that says Set as my Windows Display Language. You put a check mark here, and you make sure that all of that is there and you click the install button, it will require you to restart your PC. There's a catch to this. Once the language is set and changed, a lot of the apps might not be in a proper language. For example, if you use core apps that come with Windows, they might have stayed in the original language of the PC. Same with any apps that you install, which means Windows will be at the correct language, but you will need to uninstall and reinstall the apps that will not have followed the language because each app has its own language pack that installs while looking at what language the PC is all about. The other thing, if you don't want to mix up, is to uninstall or remove language packs. So this is also going to be important because you will have to remove the language packs that you don't want anymore. So say you've added English and you have French right now. You'll want, after all of the English language to be there, want to move it up to make sure it's the first language, which will be the preferred language. Windows Display Language, make sure you have chosen the correct language. Um, and then when all of that is done, and you'll be able to remove the other languages. So that means, in your case, uh, you wanted to have English instead of French. French. What you do is once the language pack is installed and you've actually restarted and you're in English, then remove the French package so that there's no mix-up or no extra languages there. And you're going to save a little bit of space on the disk at the same time. So, yep, that's the way you can do it without having to reinstall Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.